I'm Susan Goldberg, the new president and CEO of GBH. I could not be more honored or more excited to become the leader of this remarkable institution and to roll up my sleeves with so many extraordinary people. Throughout my career, I've been leading journalists and media organizations through enormous cultural and technological change. Joining GBH is the opportunity of a lifetime, and this is a role where I'll use every ounce of experience I've gained along the way. So let me tell you a little bit about my journey. Like a lot of people, I started out as the summer intern. Now I have to admit, it doesn't look like I'm working very hard in this picture, but I must have done something right. They offered me a permanent job, and I loved being a reporter so much that I dropped out of college to work there full time. After about seven years, I did finally get my journalism degree from Michigan State. But I always remember that it was an internship that launched my career and how important it is for companies to invest in the next generation of talent. In 2014, I became the editor-in-chief of National Geographic. As they know at Nat Geo, a picture is worth a thousand words. And without a single word, this photo tells you everything about the history of leadership there. So yes, I was the first female leader at National Geographic, and that wasn't the only time. I was the first woman leading the Washington Bureau for Bloomberg News, the first female editor at the Cleveland Plain Dealer and at the San Jose Mercury News, and now at GBH, the first female president and CEO. I think being the first has helped me understand the pressure of what it's like to be a first, whether it's about gender, race, ability, religion, or country of origin. And I hope my experience of being first can help inspire other people so they can see what's possible for them. At National Geographic, my team and I reinvented the newsroom and its editorial strategy, transforming a legacy magazine into a multi-platform media company that's now one of the strongest educational brands across digital platforms. I like to say we took the brand from reverence to relevance. National Geographic has more than 350 million followers on social media, and its television arm is an important part of Disney+. But what I'm even more proud of is how hard we work to make National Geographic more inclusive and more transparent. Today, more than half of Nat Geo stories are written by women, 30% of writers across the platform are people of color, and that's up from just 3% in 2015. And last year, five of the 12 magazine covers were photographed or illustrated by people of color. Now that's good progress, but of course it's not enough. Nearly all media companies, including Nat Geo and GBH, are on this journey and we all need to do better. In my career, I feel so lucky to have experienced life all over the United States. It's left me with a deep understanding of the fabric of our nation, what holds us together as a people, what's keeping us apart, and the role that media plays in all of it. I know that ensuring access to trusted and high quality media, whether it's news, entertainment, or educational material, is at the core of my new role as president and CEO of GBH. Our credibility with the public is at the center of all we do. So is expanding access, growing audiences, and giving people the information they need to make good decisions. That's my mission. When I'm not working, I enjoy traveling the world and getting out in nature with my husband, Jeff. And I love to cook and entertain, so you can imagine how exciting and how daunting it is for me to be at GBH, the home of Julia Child and so many legendary chefs who have found their home here. I'm dedicated to serving the community, to reaching our audiences where they are, telling important and inclusive stories, and to meeting so many of you. Thank you.